Hello everyone, Dana here from Dana's Electrical Services and in today's video, I will be showing you how to wire a solid state relay. So this is our solid state relay right here. Take a good look at it. So a solid state relay um, carries out the same duty as a regular mechanical relay but it has some advantage over the regular mechanical relay. So two of the major advantages is that one, it is said to have a longer life expectancy because it has no moving parts. Another major benefit is that its reaction time is quicker than the mechanical relay, right? And another benefit of the solid state relay is that it has no electrical noise, right? So your regular mechanical relay, when it's switching, you'll hear the clicking, but this solid state relay makes no noise at all because it uses semiconductors right so this is our solid state relay and we will get into wiring so first let me introduce you to the different points on it so this is a 40 amp solid state relay this is our input side the input is 3 to 32 volts dc and I love that it has a very wide range from 3 volts to 32 volts, right? And this is good for a PLC, which is typically 24 volts on the output side, right? And this is what we call our output side. Some of the SSR will label them as output, but some doesn't. But this is our output side, right? And this one has a range of 90 to 480 volts. AC so our input is DC and our output is AC and guys don't I, I hope you guys are not having a misconception right now that doesn't mean you apply 32 volts on this side and get an output of 40 to 480 volts AC on this side no this is not a transformer so this is not how this work right so what will happen is that you will apply the input voltage and as long as and as long as it is within this range which is 3 to 32 volts dc then it will close this circuit right so between this point to this point it is open right so this point to this point is open through here as you see you see open as in it is a normally open right when you apply the input voltage then this point will close so whatever you put on this side will flow through to this side or if you have the input on this side it will flow through to this side right and that is how the solid state relay works so let me just go ahead and start wiring first i'm going to wire my output side trying to change my screwdriver as i'm talking to you all right so going to wire my output side so this is my wire that is coming from my breaker right and i'm going to just connect that on the left side connect that on the left side Try not to get the insulation under the terminal because that is the correct way to do it. And this is our output that will go to our load. Alright, so as I said, this is my wire that is coming from my breaker and this is the wire that is going to my load. It can, go, it can go either way, right? This can be the wire that is coming from the breaker and this can be the one that is going to the load. It doesn't matter, right? This is an AC circuit, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, now it's time to wire the input side. This side is a bit tricky now, right? And 
I'm going to connect my wire and then I will explain to you why this side is a bit tricky. Alright, so this is my positive wire because we have a brown and a blue. Our brown would be positive and our blue would be negative. All right? So let me wire this. And then explain to you why I said this is a bit tricky. Now it's time to connect my negative or my ground, whichever one you want to call it. just gonna strip the end of this wire now so I can explain to you so in most case in most case the input to your solid state relay will be coming from a PLC right a PLC can either be sinking or sourcing right so if your plc is a sourcing plc it means that it is sending a positive signal right so the, if it is sending a positive signal on the output side of your plc this wire which is the brown that goes to our positive we will connect it to the output right and then this blue wire it will go to our ground right whether the ground is on the PLC itself or it is um, somewhere, somewhere else within the circuit, right? However, your PLC can also be a sinking PLC. And if your PLC is a sinking PLC, it means that it will, the output will have a negative signal, which means that the blue wire, or the, which we connect to our negative right here, that will be connected to the output of the plc so depending on if your plc is sinking or sourcing that will tell you if the output of your plc should be connected to the positive or the negative of the solid state relay right so if the plc is sinking it's connected you connect it to the negative from the negative of the ssr to the output of the plc and then the positive you connect it to the positive on the plc or if there is some other common point within your circuitry right and again if it is a sourcing plc connect your positive wire from the output so you connect your positive right here and the, and, the, and the solid state relay and then you connect that on the output of the plc and then you connect your ground or neutral and the ground or neutral and the PLC are some other common point within your circuitry where you would have the ground, right? And that pretty much sums it up. I really hope you do understand this demonstration video and I don't confuse you with the sinking and the sourcing. However, if you still doesn't understand the sinking and the sourcing as it relates to uh, PLC, I have a video as it relates to sinking and sourcing PLC. And I will list that video in the description so you guys can watch that video. And I am telling you, if you watch that video that I have as it relates to sinking and sourcing in PLC and how it works, you will understand. If you don't understand what I was explaining here, you would understand it there. I'm telling you, trust me. So I will list that down in the description. So if you still don't understand that part of it, you can watch that video, right? And this pretty much sums up our video, right? And how to wire a solid state relay, which is commonly called SSR. And this is it right here. Again, let me just run through it. 
either of these wire let me just use the left one so the left one coming from my breaker right this one is going to my load whatever your load may be when the input signal when we get our input signal from the plc it will cause our circuit to close thus causing current to flow from our circuit breaker to the load right and this is our input part right here that we connect to our plc that will send the signal and close right here so there you have it guys this is how you wire a solid state relay and this was another video brought to you by Daniel's electrical services for more videos like these please feel free to subscribe to my channel at Daniel's electrical services thank you thank you thank you